Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back for another unboxing video for Digimon Card Game. If you guys have seen my update video on the channel explaining what happened in 2022 with me, you guys probably know why I'm only here with a single box of RB01. So if you guys have no idea what's going on around my life, go check out the update video and get yourself updated. And of course, you can probably understand why I ended up with only one single box instead of my usual case breaks. So here guys, we have RB01. Yes, I know I am extremely late to the game. By the time you guys watch this video, uh, BT13 will have probably been released. And yes, I won't be breaking a case of BT13. Well, uh, aside from money issues, well, the other thing is uh, BT13 didn't really excite me too much as well because Heck, the Royal Knights uh, gameplay for the BT13 set did not really interest me. However, I am looking forward to maybe playing around with the um, Savers series that's inside the set. So yeah, anyways, we're breaking open one single box. And since there's only one single box, I'm just going to go through all the cards that I review within this box itself. So strap yourself in guys and make yourself comfortable because things are going to be a bit slow, kind of. Uh, anyway, so let's start off with the box topper. So hopefully, um, well, out of the three tamers here, uh, there are a few option cards inside there, I think, as well. But of course, the main uh, lead for Ghost Game is definitely the most expensive right now because Gamamon is probably the most exciting deck within this whole RB booster. Set. Anyway, so let's take a look who we get and of course we get Gamamon as this rare version So that's not too bad. All right, so let's break open the first pack. Let's see what kind of things that we will get Okay, okay there we go. You can toss aside this promotion card. So every single card inside this pack uh, is gonna be foil, so that's pretty nice. And of course, it's gonna be one of the most expensive Digimon sets so far. So we have Chumon, we are pretty familiar with this one. Uh, Shinba Agoramon, so yeah, one of the newer cards. And of course, a lot of the old reprints. We have Ch uh, Chibimon, uh, Agunimon, Tetis Jellymon, or Tetismon, sorry. <laughs> And of course, our restricted option card, which is now getting its rarity up. So that's kind of nice as well. Cocutus Breath, in the past, this was only attainable through uh, BT... Uh, no, not BT, uh, ST02. So this was pretty hard to get last time unless you bought a lot of the starter decks. I'm still waiting for them to reprint uh, Kaiser Nail. Hopefully that will be in RB02 in the future. Uh, Angoramon, so if you guys are planning to play ghost games, definitely pick up all the in important cards from the series. Patamon, and we have Patamon over here as well. <laughs> Hikari, pretty cute. And of course, we have finally got the magazine exclusive Garurumon. So for those of you guys who are planning to play Garurumon from way back in the days, finally, finally, the Garurumon deck is now playable. Uh, although it might be a bit slow for this era right now, but still, it's nice that finally in our countryside here, uh, we are finally able to use promos like this in our decks. And of course, every single pack comes with an SR and we finally start off things great with the uh, Diru Bitomon. So this is Anguramon's mega form. So if you guys have not been following the Ghost Game anime series, which is coming to an end soon, uh, they finally reveal all the mega forms for all the three main leads in the set. So this is definitely one of my favorite looking designs, uh, a night bunny that Ag Anguramon evolves to. So pretty cool, very very cool. All right, I'm gonna toss the rest of the cards into the box first. You can sort them out later. Second pack. All right, here we go. So I haven't done any unboxing like this for quite a while. Most of the time, I just rip open the packs and just show you the cards. So yeah, Shaomon. Okay, Brosamon. Jellymon, very cute. Patamon, oh, a different artwork. All right, and we have Jack Ray, one of the more important purple option cards. SP Mon, so this was, if I'm not wrong, uh, promo as well in the past. Shakomon finally getting his 
holographic uh, or rather rare rendition uh, rarity up Terriamon as well although not many people use this nowadays all right and of course our second well one of the three leads in ghost game uh i think what what, what do we call him uh shiro shiro yeah i think yeah i think jellymon sama always calls him shiro or <laughs> something else and of course mimi we get a nice rarity version so mini used to be very expensive in bt01 now that she is now in rb01 her price probably will drop and of course we have another promo uh, you know in those anniversary packs that we finally come uh, get a rendition here in rb01 so making things a lot cheaper than we had to buy those packs in the past all right so this is eddie smon and Ooh, the SR is the red memory boost, so finally, 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 uh, players of the Digimon card game can have an easier time finding the memory boost cards rather than scouring the internet for, you know, the ST7s and 8s that usually you find these uh, memory boosts in. So, yeah, great that they finally made it easily available because they used to be so expensive my goodness although the alternate art versions of these are technically kind of expensive as well so here we go all right so we have the uh Wezon Danmamon I hope I'm not butchering these names Koromon all right Rapuramon uh, Tesla Jellymon okay we have Zasomon oh there we go and we have Shadowmon, very cool. Gurimon, all right. And of course, Puchimeramon, which is Popo's basic Digitama. Every single Popo deck mostly use these to start and they used to be so expensive and now that they are in RB01, thankfully, uh, the price would drop. All right, Tsumemon. And we have the Brak Tailmon UV version. U version, sorry. <laughs> so this is one of the um, iconic characters, Digimon characters in the Ghost Game series. Um, so yeah. And of course, we have another promo. We have Buru Komon. And the SR we get, oh, it's not an SR, but a double A or an alternate art. So we have Dorumon. Dorumon's alternate art, very, very nice. All right, let me put this aside. Patamon. <laughs> okay, let me dump the cards in the box. There we go. So the alternate art is out. So technically with this set, within a box, you are able to kind of earn two alternate arts within a box itself. So who knows, maybe I might get something else. We have the rare version of Greymon, which has been reprinted so many times now. Uh, Guru's Gamamon, very cool. Uh, Mechanorimon. Upamon, Tetismon, Bagumon, Bakumon, did I get it right? Bakumon, yeah, did I got it right. Okay, then Ultimate Frey, finally getting a nice shiny version as well. One, one of the more powerful black option cards. Uh, Hosamon, alright, Takeru, Vimon, Keramon, and we have the yellow memory boost. So we've got two of the memory boosts now out of the six. Fantastic stuff. Alright, moving along. Okay, for all the cards that I've already read once through, I'm just gonna skip through them now. Just gonna make things a lot faster. Protomon, Devimon, uh, Battle Gammon, Parmon, Alright, Wolfmon, Numemon, Toy Agumon. Gabumon, uh, Girido, Giridumon, <laughs> I think I didn't butcher that. Tai Chi, kind of sad that this guy has been reprinted so many times now. Uh, yeah, and of course, we have another Palmon, and we have a SR Craniamon, which is also a Royal Knight, which is also another older version of it. Although, there's one more new one coming out for BT13. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that, but I'm not really looking forward to it. Okay, let me know your thoughts about BT13 in the comments down below. 
are you looking forward to opening up uh, which is going to be released uh, in two days time from this recording of this video uh, yeah so let me know your thoughts about it all right so one of the one of the more interesting option cards to be reprinted which was very hard to obtain in bt3 as well because it's an old set um, probably most well known during the Jasmine era and now that BT13 is coming out with more Jasmine stuff Jasmine seems to be getting a revival yeah and of course we have uh, Kaos Gamamon Draymond option yeah we've seen all this before now so I'm just gonna fast forward and we, of course we have the regular version of Gamamon so this is the alternate art version that has his mega form right there pretty cool Although I find this a lot cuter. <laughs> okay, we have Tanemon. Alright, and we have Amano uh, Kawahiro. So Gamamon usually calls him Hero. So finally getting uh, the Tamer. Oh, and we have finally a set of the Garurumon promos. So we had the Garurumon earlier and now we have Wa, Wa Garurumon. So that's pretty cool. And of course the SR, we have Anfimon, so this is Jellymon Sama's mega form, so pretty cool. We have both SRs for the Ghost Game set. Um, still looking forward for Serious Mon, which is Gamamon's mega form. Hopefully, hopefully we get that as well. And I can look forward to playing my Ghost Game series. Alright. Okay. So we have Shade Mon. Yeah, we've seen this before. Oh, we have Puyo Yomon. Uh, Agunimon, I think we've gone through that before. And of course, we have the so called uh, ultimate level evolution for Angoramon, which is the evil Digimon. Uh, kind of interesting that, you know, nowadays most of them have like some kind of evil transformation. So we have Ramarumon. Ramo. Ramorumon, sorry. I think I butchered that, but okay, whatever. <laughs> Ah, Angel Woman, so nice that she gets an upgrade as well. And we have another upgrade of Sora and Joe. Pretty cool. And we have the Dorurumon, so this is the alternate art version of this thing. So, pretty cute though. Yeah, Tokomon there on the tail. Very adorable. And of course, oh, we have one of the secrets that are reprinted in this set. We have Omega Antibody very very cool so if you guys notice there's some different texturing compared to the original uh, release so this is pretty nice to have around as well so let me go put this aside okay i think i don't know how many secrets there are within the whole box maybe there's one but if this is the only one that i get i'm pretty happy with it because i don't have a single copy of it uh, even though I've like opened up some of the older booster packs for this set, that set as well, but you know, I never got it. Kano Weissmon, yeah, very cool Terriermon, we've seen it before. Yeah, skipping through all the cards that we've already seen. Oh, this is new. So this is a Fumamon, pretty cool, evolves from Gamamon as well. Never seen it in anime, maybe because I have not caught up. Alright, we have uh, Koshiro. Yeah, and oh, another promo card from the magazines, or rather the books. Um, I think that was the first anniversary uh, book for the Digimon card game. We have Elf Force V Dramon Zero, very very cool. And of course, we have the SR reprint of Rise Greymon, looking pretty nice with all the texturing as well. Okay. Moving on, we've got four packs to go before this video ends. So far, what have you guys gotten for yourself from in RB01? Did you open a case for yourself? Did you guys only get a few boxes? Or maybe you bought singles? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, we've seen all this before. Pretty pop familiar cards already. Oh, missed out one. Alright. Okay, QP Mon. And of course, Mon Zaemon, I think this is new as well. Pretty cool, and look at that horrifying Tokomon right there. <laughs> Alright, and we've got Impmon, this is a, also a reprint. And oh, we have another alternate art, look at that adorable blue memory boost. Oh my goodness, this is looking so lovely, I love how that 
Jelly Mon's baby is hanging on top of Gabu Mon's horn. That is just so adorable. Oh my goodness. Alright, okay. So we've got our two alternate arts out from the box, which is kind of a bummer. It means the last three packs are kind of a dud, but we are still looking forward to getting that serious one or maybe uh, another secret at least, a regular secret, but who knows. We already pulled out a secret from this box already, so maybe we may not get uh, Gamma Mon's Mega form. Uh, who knows? Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Alright, and we've got a Rice Grey Mon. And, ooh! So another promo card, and of course, ooh! We've got one of Gamma Mon's alternate mega forms. So we have Arukutorus. Aruk. I cannot read this thing. Arukutorus. Torus Mon. I think I did, got it right. Turus. Turus. Turus Mon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so difficult to read. Oh my goodness, but yeah, okay So yeah, for all these promos, I actually went ahead to buy the actual packs back then Managed to get a decent price for it, but you know, now that they're reprinted I, I don't really regret buying the original pack because you know, it was kind of cheap when I finally found them and uh, that was a f about a year ago before this pack, this set was actually announced so I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, um, despairing over the purchase. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Oh, more Gamma Mon for my deck. That's pretty cool. All right, it's kind of interesting that they will reprint this because it's a restricted and they're like getting so many copies of a restricted card. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh, I kind of reviewed uh, <laughs> the four cards that we have not seen yet. All right, so we have um, uh, Hero's Dad. So it's Amano. Kawa Hokto, okay, and of course we have the rare version of Nokia, and of course the magazine promo of Tai Chi, uh, which is the manga version. Uh, in and of course we have uh, another SR print of Omega Mon uh, the Wild. Uh, so, hmm, I've I've got so many copies of this, even though it is nicely textured this time round, but I I just. I'm just going with a meh with that card. So, <laughs> last pack, let's see what we get from this one. Alright. Okay. Shall I just skip to the back? <laughs> nah. Alright, here we go. Oh, Agumon. That's the first one. Eh, oh, we have. Our first appearance of Luri, it's Angoramon's Tamer, and Greymon, pretty nice artwork there. Last SR, we get Shine Greymon. So even though, you know, Shine Greymon has been prominent in the Digimon card game meta scene right now, uh, Greymon is still pretty dominant, but Shine Greymon is looking in the shadows to take over its place pretty soon. Pretty nice that they reprinted this old version which is kind of kind of useful still um, you know with the current meta play anyway guys that's it for my only box of RB01 and I was pretty lucky to pull out two alternate arts although well the memory boost alternate art is probably the, where the money lies this this would st still probably do well in selling as well because I think Alpha Mon is coming back soon Anyways guys, that's it for RB01. Let me know your thoughts about the reprint booster. Are you looking for, forward to RB02? I am definitely looking forward to see what cards they reprint in there to make the card game cheaper for new beginners. Uh, I wish this set was around when I started this card game. <laughs> it would have probably saved me so much money uh, up to this point on time. Anyway guys, Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hit the like button, subscribe if you have not, and share the video to all your Digimon card game loving friends as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Bye!